Danish Defense Minister Trolls Lund Poulsen, during his visit to Kiev, reaffirmed Denmark's commitment to continue supporting Ukraine's defense efforts through the purchase of Ukrainian-made weapons. The Danish Ministry of Defense announced that Denmark and Ukraine are set to acquire arms from Ukrainian defense manufacturers, with a total value of DKK $4.2 billion, $600 million. Minister Polson's visit to Kiev culminated in the signing of a defense protocol with Ukrainian Defense Minister Rustam Yumirov and Strategic Industries Minister Herman Smetanin. This protocol solidifies Denmark's intent to continue its cooperation with Ukraine on defense acquisitions, emphasizing the importance of boosting Ukraine's domestic arms industry to meet the demands of the ongoing war. The Danish government has allocated DKK $1.3 billion for these defense purchases, a decision that enjoys broad parliamentary support. In addition, DKK $2.9 billion will come from frozen Russian assets, which Denmark will liquidate in cooperation with the EU. This substantial funding reflects Denmark's strong backing for Ukraine's military capabilities, ensuring that Ukrainian defense manufacturers can produce much-needed weapon systems for the front lines. Minister Polson highlighted the critical importance of continued support for Ukraine's fight for sovereignty, stating, It is important that we continue to support Ukraine's fight for freedom in every way possible. He praised the newly signed framework agreement, which he believes will maximize the efficiency of the DKK 4.2 billion being contributed by both Denmark and the EU. By purchasing weapons directly from Ukrainian manufacturers, Denmark aims to enhance Ukraine's self-sufficiency in arms production. This approach enables Ukraine to manufacture the specific weapons systems it needs to defend against Russian aggression. Minister Polson emphasized, Denmark is leading the way by donating weapons directly from the Ukrainian defense industry. Denmark's support for Ukraine has been ongoing throughout the war. Earlier this year, Denmark completed a pilot project that financed 18 defense facilities in Ukraine. This success laid the foundation for further collaboration, particularly as the two countries had already signed a memorandum in June 2023 regarding the purchase of Ukrainian weapons and military equipment. The newly signed defense protocol marks the finalization of this memorandum, with the first major contract expected to be signed soon. Part of the funds from frozen Russian assets has already been used to produce Ukrainian Bodan artillery systems, underscoring the effectiveness of this financial strategy. Minister Polson's trip to Kiev comes just ahead of the Kiev Defense Industry Forum, which will provide further opportunities for international cooperation in bolstering Ukraine's defense capabilities. This latest agreement between Denmark and Ukraine demonstrates the growing importance of international support for Ukraine's domestic arms industry ensuring that it can meet both current and future challenges on the battlefield. In light of Denmark's continued commitment, this partnership strengthens Ukraine's capacity to defend its sovereignty while contributing to the resilience and expansion of the country's defense production capabilities. The use of frozen Russian assets to fund such initiatives also reflects an innovative and strategic approach to supporting Ukraine's defense while applying economic pressure on Russia.